Hey guys, welcome back. So, last weekend, I was in Seattle for PAX West and also for the 343 Community Studio Tour. So, when I got back, I figured I would just throw together all of the footage that I have of both my tour of the legendary 343 Industries, as well as my times at PAX West and also my journey there into one sort of semi-coherent video. Thanks to a close family member who flies a lot for work, I actually managed to get free first-class flights, which were pretty fucking snazzy. Now, at 343, we were only allowed to record in the museum and the lobby. Thank you to Halo Cannon for the lobby footage. I don't talk all that much in the footage, and I didn't vlog it like a proper vlog, because, like a fucking idiot, on the first night that I got there in Seattle, I left the AC on in my room, because I was so tired I fell asleep with it on, and I woke up in the morning with a fucking chest infection and a really bad sore throat. So, I'll do a little commentary here and there when it's necessary, but that's all for now. I hope you guys enjoy. Leave a like if you do enjoy. You should love this video. There's a lot of familiar faces and familiar things in it. And I'll speak to you again throughout the video. Alrighty then, here is the Halo Museum, the piece de la resistance. Actually, have uh, the head would only come up to about here. Uh, you're kind of standing on the stilt, and then these are animatronic, so you can actually hear the servo motors in there. Uh, so these would be operated actually independently on set but off camera by a puppet. And actually, Mr. Kevin Hurd, uh, this is from the private collection.
Hey there, didn't see you filming. We're here at PAX today, and this is the act man here. Yeah, you do a panning shot. You do that panning shot, all right? Yeah, you zoom in a little bit. Maybe just zoom in, yeah? Yeah, there you go. So, on to PAX West. Now, we played a fair few games here, from Call of Duty World War II to VR stuff, which was actually the main attraction for me. I'm really into VR stuff. Uh, and I got to play a sort of Turok-esque survival game called Island 359 and also an esports focused PvP game called Hyperdash and also I played a few others like a Titanfall-esque on rails VR experience type thing. Even though these games are very clearly early in development, it's safe to say that VR is the real fucking deal. Enjoy. It's curving backwards. It's like my, my, my chest muscles are so weak, but my six pack makes up for it. Meanwhile, in the tribe of me. So the bungee section of PAX was actually a little walk away from the main convention and it was in this massive beautiful theatre. I never actually got to play Destiny 2 there, but I got to meet and have a chat with the legend himself, somebody that you might recognise from the Halo days or from the Destiny days, Deej. Deej is a super nice guy and I actually got to witness him do a combat role, something I can definitely say very few people have ever seen before. Cow. Oh, you're done for. You are so done. That's a horn in your gut. Oh, did you know Clint? Oh, there you go.
sounds like teleporting. <laughs> so Marty, you've spent decades in the entertainment business, from early days decades, writing some music decades, for yeah. TV commercials, maybe more than decades, yeah. uh, and then also, of course, soundtracks for Destiny and Halo. Why start a VR studio? Um, wow, that's a good question. Uh, I, you know, the, like Ray was saying, I, I think the thing about uh, games, which is always interesting, is, is something that new that comes along. And uh, you know, we were making games, and then I remember when surround sound was going to come out for for PC, so we started working with surround sound. And instead, we got bought by Microsoft, and then we had the Xbox, and then it was like, can we? Can we take this uh, Xbox and a controller and actually play a first-person shooter and make it satisfying? So we're always like doing cutting-edge things at the time. The technology is informing us all the time, and I like being at that front edge, bleeding, horrible edge of technology. <laughs> and uh, so does my uh, partner Jamie Griesmer, who was the guy who actually fine-tuned all the controls for Xbox uh, Halo. And uh, we found ourselves in a similar position. We were both no longer uh, at Bungie, and he said, "Let's uh, start a game together, a game company together." Uh, I, actually, just for the record, one of the main reasons we decided to start a company together is that we—it was uh, so neither one of us could fire each other. <laughs> <laughs> that was our deal. Yep, that is the man, the myth, the legend, Marty O'Donnell. I actually got to meet one of my idols. Marty is. An absolute legend, such a nice guy, had like a 30 minute conversation with him after his panel about just VR and general stuff, super nice guy, responsible for the best music in video game history alongside Michael Salvatore, and yeah, it was fantastic to actually meet somebody that I worship as, as much as Marty, super nice guy. So that's it for the 343 and PAX, oh okay, no, wait, we forgot one thing, so when we went to 343, I decided to do something really fucking stupid in front of the 343 sign in the lobby and have somebody take a picture of it. And what followed was the most cataclysmic event of the millennia.